You know, I was the last guy. I was going to be the last holdout. All the young guys were wearing face masks and gloves and hoods. Not this old codger. I, my whole life I've spent in the sun. I thought that was pansy stuff. And, you know, I'd like to maybe even think sometimes I look pretty weird when I look at myself now. But here's what happened. After a lifetime of being in the sun, I've been to the dermatologist to have basal cell, the starting of basal cell cancers removed three different times. And I've had a number of lesions taken off my temples and on my cheeks and things like that. So I went in last fall and Shakira just keeps catching bass, but I went in last fall and saw the dermatologist because I had some questions about new ones on my temples. And he said, oh, they're okay. You don't have to have those removed, but that white line on your lips said that's serious stuff and I said well what do you mean he said that's the start of squamous cell cancer he said I can try to burn it off by freezing it but you're not gonna look very good for about three weeks and you know he had taken off some of the other lesions by freezing before so I didn't think it would be much of a deal and he says do you want me to do it and I said well what are the alternatives he said well if the freezing doesn't work and if it doesn't go away, if those lines don't go away, I'll, we'll be scheduling surgery and I might have to take some major parts of your lip away where you might even have to have it reconstructed. And I went, let's freeze it now. I mean, I got pretty scared. I, I'll be real truthful, I did. And uh, he froze it, my lower lip swelled up like a bratwurst. It all went open sore and stuff. That's what happens when they actually use the nitrogen to freeze it. And it took some time to heal, and guess what? I got lucky. The white lines and the start of the squamous went away. But I said to myself, and after getting a lecture from him, that I would start uh, respecting what some of the young guys were doing and start using my head a little bit and covering up. So you'll see me on television shows from now on, covered up most of the time. I'll pull it down like I did here for the tip or when I'm catching a fish or stuff. But this is, let this be a warning to you guys too. For those of you who are like me, the tough guys, and a lot of us that are, you know, from 40 on up are, are feel that way, don't be so dumb. And just don't be like I was. Get covered up. Blackfish makes good gear. There's a lot of companies that do. The bottom line is protect yourself. Don't be stupid, be safe.